Before we jump into the blood flow of the heart, why don't we take a little look at the anatomy of the heart. So here we have an image of the heart. Right here will be the superior vena cava, superior because it's above, and then down here we have the inferior vena cava, inferior below, taking blood from the lower part of the body, while the superior is taking blood from the upper part of the body. Then, down here, there's a chamber behind here called the right atrium. The right atrium is where blood will go after it enters the superior and inferior vena cava. It'll then go through the tricuspid valve, valves help prevent backflow of blood in the heart, into the right ventricle, which is a large chamber down here. The right ventricle will then go through the pulmonary valve, which is right here, another valve to prevent backflow, and into the pulmonary artery. Now, the pulmonary artery is one of the few arteries that will actually pump deoxygenated blood. That will pump it to the lungs where it will get oxygenated, and then it will enter the pulmonary veins right here, which are one of the few veins that will carry um, oxygenated blood toward the heart from the lungs. Now that blood will flow into the left atrium, which is another chamber right here, through the mitral valve, which is the valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle, into the left ventricle, which is the larger chamber down here. That will push the blood up through the aortic valve, right here, which is another valve to prevent backflow, into the aorta, where the blood will be pushed to the rest of the body. Now, here's going to be a simple flow showing the flow of blood throughout it. So, blood entering the vena cava, superior and inferior. This is deoxygenated blood into the right atrium, the chamber right here, through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle, where it will then be pumped through the pulmonary valve, through the pulmonary artery, and to the lungs. Oxygenated blood will come from the lungs into the pulmonary veins, into the left atrium, through the mitral valve, into the left ventricle. It will then be pumped through the aortic valve, up into the aorta, where it will be pumped throughout the body. There are five stages of the cardiac cycle. In stage one of the cardiac cycle, atrial systole or atrial contraction, the atria which will contract and push blood into the ventricles. So these are the ventricles and the red is blood entering them. Then the AV valve or the tricuspid and mitral valve will be open, allowing that blood to flow in. So that's the blood flowing in through those. And then the pulmonary and aortic valve, which flow blood into the pulmonary artery and the aorta, will be shut during this time. In the second stage of the cardiac cycle, or isovolumetric ventricular contraction, the ventricles begin to contract. Ventricle here, ventricle here. The AV valve, the tricuspid and mitral valve, are still closed. And that closure is what creates the lub sound you hear in your heartbeat. The semilunar valves, which are the um, pulmonary and aortic valves, are still shut because the ventricles are building pressure and the pressure is still not high enough to pump blood through them. So, the volume actually inside of them of blood in the ventricles does not change and that is why it gets the name isovolumetric ventricular contraction.
Now we're in the third stage of the cardiac cycle, ventricular ejection. So the pressure in the ventricles is beginning to rise. When the pressure in the ventricles is higher than the pressure in the pulmonary artery and the aorta, in here and here, then the semilunar valves or the pulmonary and the aortic valve begin to open. Blood will then be ejected into both the pulmonary artery and the aorta. Pulmonary artery is bringing that blood to the lungs and the aorta is bringing that blood to the body. Now we enter the fourth stage of the cardiac cycle, isovolumetric ventricular relaxation. So the ventricles are beginning to relax. The pulmonary and aortic valves are shut. That's what you hear in the dub. So you hear the lub, which is the mitral and the tricuspid valve shutting, and then the dub, which is the pulmonary and aortic valve shutting. So these valves are shut, and then the tricuspid and mitral valves are shut too. So the ventricles are relaxing, but no blood is flowing into them because the volume is constant hence the name isovolumetric ventricular relaxation. Finally, we enter the ventricular filling stage. So the pressure in the ventricles will continue going down, and when that pressure will fall below the pressure in the atria, which is these upper chambers, the AV valves, or the tricuspid, and the mitral valve will begin to open. Then blood will slowly flow from them into the ventricles. The filling phase will continue as the ventricles continue to relax. The atria may begin contracting toward the end of the phase, adding a final volume of blood, allowing the cycle to repeat. This cycle will repeat continuously throughout the day as we constantly need blood flowing throughout our body. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.